Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Devi, nice to meet you and I'm grateful for all the beautiful souls who have recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome to our beautiful family, warm hugs, kisses, lots of infinite love to all of my loyal babies who have been here with me throughout my, you know, journey, let's say, okay? So today's reading is gonna be about who is obsessed with you, all right? As always, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with every single person. Number one, number two, number three, okay? So you may pick your option and I'm getting started. So hello, group number one, welcome to your reading. Let's see who is obsessed with you. So have here, let your friends help you. And we have here playfulness. Um, for some of you, this person could be younger than you, okay? Or you might be tapping into your inner child, okay? For some of you, this person could be from your friend's circle, okay? You might be seeing 111 a lot, okay? Let's see who is obsessed with my group number one collective energy universe. Thank you. Who is obsessed with my group number one? Who is obsessed with my group number one? We have here death. Okay, Scorpio energy. Somebody could be going through transformation. We have here four of wands in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. I feel like you might be giving this person the sense of butterflies in the stomach. Okay, uh, for some of you with the four of wands in reverse and the playfulness energy, this person could be somebody who is not, you know, directly looking for commitment or something. Okay, more of a lighter connection kind of a thing. Okay, let's see. Or somebody could be having fear of commitment and slowly releasing and going through transformation. Okay. Let's see, who is obsessed with the world? Yes, look at this. There are two major arcanas here. It feels like your um, connection with this person could have transformed or changed this person's perception of life. We have here Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Alchemist in, uh, upright, okay? And the Ten of Wands has jumped in reverse again. So... Yeah, it feels like this person could be having a lot going in their lives, in their place. This person could be slowly releasing their anxieties. Some of them could be even going through depression or something. Maybe you have taught this person how to manifest or create their own reality or something. This person could be seeing you as somebody who is successful, okay? I, I don't know why I am seeing this... Uh, you know, paying attention, you know, energetically drawn to Ace of Pentacles and it came in reverse here. I feel like, again, for some of you, this person could, you know, could have had, uh, you know, fear of commitment in the past, but they are slowly transforming, okay? This person is very much attracted to your physical beauty and bo uh, beauty and body shape. This person could be any of this fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. I also hear Gemini as well, okay? This person would love to uh, offer you something okay also i feel like for some of you this person could be scared that uh, they are not financially well off and that's why maybe they want to impress you okay uh, also i feel like for some of you this person is you know obsessed with your physical beauty right we have here the king of wands as you know from the stereotypes, the king of wands is somebody who is a player, okay? Like, who um, who does not commit easily, okay? But this person wants to actively pursue you. This person wants to impress you, okay? And this person is very much sexually attracted to you. This person may, you know, whatever shape you have, this person finds it adorable, okay? And also... Maybe you inspired this person for, you know, for bigger things, okay? Uh, with the, you know, we have here three major arcanas and I will continue shuffling the cards. I'm just, let me see what this is about. This person wants to change for you, to impress you, okay? Like if you have been knowing this person from a past, this person wants to show up. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. 
I feel like for some of you, um, it could be same gender relationship for some of you, okay? Maybe in the past, this person was more of a, like a player. You know, this person um, seemed to be emotionally unavailable person, okay? Uh, because King of Cups upright is very compassionate, empathetic, romantic person, okay? And maybe this person had bottled up their emotions. Maybe for some of you, this person could be, um, could have risen in a society, social circle where, you know, men embracing their emotions were the sign of weakness. That's why they were more of a playerish type, but actually they had deeper feelings for you. They just, Maybe they didn't have uh, good role models when it comes to commitment, okay? With the four, you know, for some of you, this person could be the child of a broken family or something. But this person is very ambitious, okay? Is also sexually driven. This person loves you, loves your body, you know, like loves your physical beauty, like for sure, okay? Yeah, in the bottom of the deck, we have here Ace of uh, Cups. This person. Um, this person has emotions for you, but it's not like they could be struggling. Like this person's love language could be physical touch or sexual connection instead of, you know, more of, a, you know, words of affirmation or something. Maybe you do, you too do have different styles of, you know, love languages, okay? This person, uh, yeah, it's not the kind of person who is all about feelings, romantic or something. Like, it's more of an action-driven person, okay? But, um, let me see. How does this person see my group number one universe? The tower. Yeah, upright. So some of you have definitely ended, okay? Or you, your, uh, let's say, spiritual role in this person's life was transformation. Maybe you inspired this person to release the, you know, patterns no more serving them. Maybe you have helped this person to reflect on their behaviors that were not so bright, okay? So we have here the Empress Reverse. For some of you, you have cut this person off because this person was not capable of, uh, you know, committing, committing to you, okay? But regardless, this person actually sees your, uh, you know, like sees you as someone who's gorgeous. But this person, um, I feel like for some of you, this person could be having mother issues. That's why this person could be having struggles with, you know, like, this person is not uh, tapped into their emotions in general, okay? Like, this person uh, wants changes, but it feels like for some of you, you have turned your back from this person, okay? Because, yes, um, because you are not the kind of person who is going to deal with their bullshits who is not going to compete for their attention, for their love, okay? You know your value, and you know when it's, you know, even though you may have feelings towards this person, okay? Four of Cups in reverse. Also, this person could have had some ego issues. This person could be scared of rejection, and they could be, in the past, were rejecting themselves before you could reject them. Also, I feel like this person knows it well that they can't come to you with, you know, um, in genuine, you know, playful, you know, uh, one night stand, friend with benefits, situationships, okay? Like, again, for some of you, this person is from your social circle, like, you know this person, okay? Yeah, five of swords upright. For some of you, there were, unfortunately, other people interfering in your connection with this person, okay? This person could have heard something not so good about you, okay? Let me see. Yeah, Prince of Swords. I feel like first uh, in the upright position. This person is somehow mad at you, okay? Like, I don't know why. Let's see, how does this person see my group number one universe? How does this person see my group number one? 
earth like yeah the empress energy you are gorgeous you are very fertile also you ground this person okay also i feel like you are not gonna settle for less okay in experience for some of you you might be a virgin okay this person sees you as someone who is innocent and pure okay the secrets uh you may come uh you may come as you know, somebody who is a mysterious, secretive, private person, okay? For some of you, have definitely turned your back uh, to this person, okay? Yeah. For some of you, this person could be uh, feeling really... Could be thinking that you have magnetic eyes or something. Something about your eyes and lips, okay? Yeah, patterns, exactly. You definitely have taught certain lessons to this person, okay? Rebirth. We have your asset. So, somebody could be having past life in Egypt, okay? With the death energy and rebirth. Again, you have transformed this person, okay? Maybe you have... Oh, Shakti. This person sees you as somebody who is in their power, who is extremely powerful person, okay? Some of you could be spiritually inclined as well with the alchemist and the uh, goddess asset was the, uh, let's say, was the uh, spirit of the magic, okay? Generos generosity. This person sees you as somebody who is extremely giving, nurturing, motherly. Again, uh, I feel like some of you have definitely triggered this person's mother issues, okay? Also, this person, uh, you know, would love to work, collaborate with you, you know? I feel like this person would value your friendship or values your friendship. This person knows that you are the right or die kind of a person, okay? And how does this person truly feel about my group number one universe? How does this person engagement? Again, some of you have inspired or transformed this person's, you know, fear of co uh, commitment. We have here codependency. This person uh, feels codependent. Like this, I feel like, okay, I get it. So, I feel like this person uh, had fear of commitment because this person was scared that once they commit to you, they will be too clingy, too codependent on you. They were actually scared of losing you, okay? So, have you getting to know each other? This person definitely wants to get to know the real you. Or maybe at least show their authentic selves to you as well, okay? So, how do they feel towards my group number one universe? How do they feel? finances and career you are focused on your finances this person could be seeing you as somebody who is independent who has their sheets together who is very goal oriented strong powerful in their power okay like you don't depend on anybody and this person could have been triggered or also inspired because you are not a codependent person maybe in the past you had similar issues but but you have overcome those patterns okay at some point this person could have seen themselves in you okay and reconciliation yeah if you are in separation with this person this person definitely wants to reconcile with you okay and was the worth waiting for yeah i feel like this person had has taken a lot of time in order to transform on, or and commit to you but i'm not sure if you want to like i don't know or i feel like this person uh but like, it's for sure that this person wants to come and impress you and prove you that they have changed. They are not emotionally unavailable anymore, you know, like, and all the stuff. Like, they would love to commit to you, actually, but they are not sure if you want to, okay? So, yeah, I hope to resonate with you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. See you next time. Take care of yourself. So, hey, group two, welcome to your reading. Let's see who is obsessed with my group number two children and it's safe for you to love for some of you this person could be having children or would love to have children with you this person seems to be a reliable person or would love to 
be seen in your eyes as someone who is reliable and safe for love. If you have children, this person would love to appear as somebody who can be a good step parent as well. Okay, and let's see. Who is obsessed with my collective energy? Choosing group number two universe. I don't know why I channel number three. Okay. Somebody may have three children or something. Okay. Let's see. Who is obsessed with my group number two universe? Also, this person is very protective over you. Or would love to protect you. Okay. So, who is obsessed with my group number two? We have here Prince of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Six of Wands. Good. The energies are coming up right for now. This person could be in the public eye. This person could be somebody who would love to appear as somebody who is successful in your eyes this person could be material focus for some of you this person could be having earth earth weenies okay yeah in the bottom we have here ten of cups for some of you this person definitely would love to have family with you okay let's see yeah, we have here the sun of pride. I love this. You know, in the previous group, there were too many energetical blockages, reversal energies, but we have started good here. This person sees you in high regards, okay, with the sun energy. You could be dealing with a Leo or you might be a Leo, any fire sign, earth sign. This person sees you as somebody who is positive-minded, who has positive attitude, who, who shines so bright. For some of you, there could be public recognition with the sun energy and the six of wands. This person might be seeing you as somebody who attracts a lots of, uh, you know, who attracts lots of admirers. This person might, may see you as somebody who is good looking, also would love to have children, uh, you know, as beautiful as you with you okay yeah in the bottom we have here nine of pentacles so this person might be seeing you as single sexy independent financially stable yeah we have here a real hard working person okay we have here eight of pentacles was the knight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles i feel like for some of you this person could be a perfectionist this person could be working so hard to impress you this person could be even watching you or stalking you while uh, being at work yeah when i cut the deck the emperor upright came in like i feel like for the vast majority of you picking this group you don't have any blockages actual energetical you can manifest this person easily if you would love to okay also again this person would love Love to be the head of your family if you are dealing with a masculine figure would love to be a you know parent uh, stepdad or father of your children this person would love to be in long-term family situation with you w wants to appear as somebody who is strong independent who is in charge reliable dependable you know a big daddy person okay yeah, oh, I don't like it. Okay, Seven of Swords. I Let's see. Who is obsessed with my group number two universe? Prince of Swords has come in reverse. Okay. I, I feel like, yeah, we have your Queen of Wands upright. You might be any uh, fireside individual. You know, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person sees you if you are a feminine energy. This person sees you as extremely sexy, fiery, gorgeous, be beautiful body. You know, taking well care of yourself, having healthy boundaries. Some of you could be witches or spiritual inclined as well with the judgment energy. Okay, uh, Scorpio, if uh, you had known this person from a past, you know, like, if you have known this person for a while, you know, for some of you, this person could be from your workplace, okay? So, like, I feel like this person uh, is feeling really impatient right now, okay? Like, I, I want to know what the Seven of Swords is about, universe. Eight of Wands in reverse, the lovers upright. 
yeah i feel like it it's about hiding their true emotions you know this person could have pretended in the it could have pretended in the past that they didn't have any you know feelings for you they would love to keep it professional if you work together okay if you had any you know work relation with this person look at this this person is feeling extremely passionate about you okay i feel like but the only blocked energy is communication like this person cannot speak their truth for whatever reason okay maybe some of you could have blocked this person i don't know or you know if there is no blockages i feel like this person could be again if you work together yeah i want to marry you but i can't why like the ten of cups had come in upright position previously that's so strange would you choose me would you choose me like i feel like you could have triggered this person insecurities as well because you may seem to have so many suitors around because you are gorgeous okay my group number two <laughs> let's see the queen of cups upright cancer leos um cancer scorpio pisces okay uh this person sees you as somebody who is emotionally intelligent you are this person's beloved it was the lovers and queen of cups okay this person may believe in soulmates soul connections and this person may think that you two are have you two share divine connection was the king of pentacles upright this person is too much uh, focused on their finances because this person could be traditional or something you might be dealing with a taurus okay uh i feel like this person could have kept their feelings uh, you know within the, their hearts because they felt like they were not financially there yet but they would want to be the provider uh, for you you know in the future if you have family for some of you this person could be scared of your rejection your cold shoulder some of you have already blocked this communication because it has taken too long with this person okay who is obsessed with my group number two universe who is obsessed with my group number two who is obsessed with my group number two King of Swords, yeah, um, this person does not show up their emotions, I feel like uh, for some of you there was definitely blockage going on, or somebody, yes, the devil upright, that, that's so interesting, this person is fighting their temptation, you know, like it feels like you you seem to be the temptation, this person is e extremely sexually activated by you, you know, you, you you bring up the beast within this person and this person wants to fight those feelings like, no, I don't want you. You know, I'm gonna have this poker face, but like within the volcano is exploding, you know, like this person could be having air in their charts, okay? Because this person, again, sees you as somebody who is gorgeous, independent, who has their shits together. Maybe, again, this person in their perception um, could have been scared that you would not be interested in them because they were not financially stable yet or they didn't have the you know big boss position in at their workplace or something okay also with the queen of uh, swords and the king of swords i feel like there was this mirroring energy going on with you know between you two okay final energy who is obsessed with my group number two who is obsessed the temperance in reverse i feel like for some of you um i feel like oh uh, yeah the queen of uh, swords upright again there is this mirror energy going on this person wants to be your equal this person wants to be your you know maybe thinking that you are counterparts maybe they think uh, you know like um i don't know why i channel the beauty and the beast energy okay uh 
this person is scared of you cheating on them one day because you have so many people who are into you you are beautiful you may you know change your mind and get bored of them and you know it's all in their minds there is actually no energetical divine blockage between you two the only blockage is the fears existing within your minds, within this person's mind, okay? This person wants to talk so badly, but it feels like they are trying so badly to tame their beasts, okay? Also, I feel like... Uh, yeah. I feel like this person does not feel ready for you yet because they have put you up on a pedestal and it feels like this person may think that, you know, they are not on your level for now, okay? But it's like, both of you, I feel like, like and admire each other. It's just this person's abandonment issues and fear of rejection, you know, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person is so scared of marrying you one day and later on coming home and seeing you cheating uh, with somebody else like this person is so scared of betrayal like this person i don't know something is really bothering this person okay also again this person wants to be the provider for this connection especially if you get married one day in their you know fantasies let's say but this person financially doesn't feel well uh, well off yet you know like so they prefer to keep their emotions, feelings to themselves, you know? How do they see my group number two universe? How do they see my group number two? How do they see my group number two? Ambition, yes. This person sees you as someone who's ambitious, who is you know, alliance, this person, again, sees you as the wife, mother of their children, or father of their children, but they are scared, you know, they, you know, Zeus was, <laughs> Zeus was a cheater, you know, like, uh, this person is scared of you cheating on them one day, okay, in the future, if you get married, this person, that's why, is projecting uh, their fears, and is so much scared of betrayal, you know, building up, and you know, putting all the effort into this connection and one day being cheated on. Like, one day you may uh, leave them for somebody else and it's gonna destroy this person, it's gonna kill this person. Like, they are just so scared, okay? Yeah, and they are financially insecure right now. I, I understand this person, okay? Yeah, this person... Uh, respects you so highly you know like this person respects you yeah oh you feel like home to this person with the queen of cups energy you know like again this person would love to build a home with you okay yeah knowledge this person sees you as somebody who is intelligent you are the queen of swords you are their equal okay maybe both of you are sapiosexuals you feel turned on by the you know intelligence by you know smooth conversations by you know unlimited ideas inspirations and talking about your ambitions goals visions you know like it's you are not a boring person definitely Yes. Uh, yeah, I feel like this person sees you as somebody who is go-getter, okay? You know? Very ambitious, very fiery, very much queen of, uh, you know, queen of wands energy. Let's see, finally, how do they feel? How do they truly feel? Reconciliation. If you are in separation, this person wants you back, okay? How do they feel? Romantic feelings, oh, oh yeah, of course, like, this person, I don't know why I do channel, like, somebody's initials could be starting with R or something, I don't know why I did, look at this, true love. This person is so in love with you, they're just scared. Some of you could be having past life in Egypt, 
okay let's see express your love <laughs> exactly like this person doesn't want to like doesn't want you to move on from them but this person is so scared of your you know deception cheating on them one day because this person feels somehow unworthy and all those fears come up from the mindset that they don't deserve true love so you know their uh, possible partners should cheat you know like not should would cheat on them it's all about projecting your insecurities you know i did have such a thing like um when i came across with my true counterpart look at this this could be the one this person sees you as the one okay when i saw my true counterpart like you know uh as you know uh somebody who has water element in her chart <laughs> You know, uh, in my fantasies, I have started making all those uh, scenarios in my mind, okay? Like, when I was seeing a beautiful woman, I would be like, would he look at her? Like, he doesn't even know me, I feel like, okay? But, like, it's all in my mind, okay? So, then I had this epiphany moment, like, why do I always have to think such negatively about the people, you know? Like what within me makes me feel or think like my partner would cheat on me like i deserve to be cheated on you know why do i think this way okay and i somehow release this fear you know it's always uh, good to reflect on your thoughts then you have this moment of uh, you know reflection realization and so on okay so yeah, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoy your reading. See you next time. Take care of yourself. So hello group number three. Welcome to your reading. Let's see who is obsessed with my group number three. We have past life relationship, retreat, and healing family issues. This person um, could have been married to you in one of your past lives. It's definitely, you know, past life soul connection okay uh for some of you you might be in separation with this person but uh, you know the connection memories are there maybe you unfortunately could have repeated your past life uh, you know uh not so good patterns in this lifetime as well so you had to learn your lessons reflect on them and release them okay so who is obsessed with my group number three collective energy thank you is it my hair? Okay. So, who is obsessed with my group number three universe? I love you. Who is obsessed with my group number three? Okay, I don't know why I hear like for some of you this person could be married. Um, three of ones in reverse. Mm -hmm. This person could be living in the distance and tired of waiting, nine of cups. This person could be slowly losing their hope for you and because maybe it has taken too long. For some of you, if you were in this, you know, separation, uh, let's say time out period with this person this person wants to come back to you you know like this person doesn't want to wait anymore this person maybe wants to this uh, you know has decided to take the action take control of their lives you know this person wants to doesn't want you to move on from them this person if they this person moved on from you this person wants to come back because they don't feel happy without you because uh, you might be any of the fire sign this person sees you as somebody who this person sees you as somebody who is sexy gorgeous you know fiery ambitious okay let's see who is obsessed with my group number three universe or you know it could be even this person okay yes for some of you the, if this person moved on from you this person is extremely regretful they don't feel happy without you this person has come into realization that this person has missed out on an opportunity they were being too immature okay the chariot in reverse all about this person cannot move on this person cannot move on this person feels stuck on you okay 
this person doesn't know how to let you go this person doesn't want to let you go this person wants you back definitely okay you could be dealing with a cancer okay I feel like this person could be crying, okay? The wheel of fortune. The, I feel like this person thinks that it's not over yet, you know? Um, also, this person could be, you know, feeling like unlucky, okay? I feel like this person heavily uh, thinks that they, are, they were stupid before letting you go, okay? The higher font, Taurus energy. What's this? I feel like if you were in commitment with this person, if it was your spouse, I, I don't know why I heavily feel like it was more of, a, you know, your marriage in past life, okay? If some of you were supposed to marry to this person in this lifetime and fix your past life uh, problems, but somehow, you know, this person fucked up, okay? We have here in the bottom, Prince of Cups. This person has romantic feelings towards you, but let's see. Uh, the strength uh, in, you know, in the bottom. Let's see. I want to see bigger picture. Uh, who is obsessed with my group number three? Ace of Wands, upright. Yes, this person has decided to take the action towards you. This person doesn't want to wait anymore. This person wants to take the control of their life. For some of you, you might be hearing from this person very soon, even within a week, okay? A month, some, something, okay? Two of Wands. Again, this person could be strategizing about how to make a move towards you, okay? Let's see, in the bottom we have here the star. Yes, it's divine connection, it's soul connection. This person has put you up on a pedestal. This person has started seeing your value when it was too late. For some of you, I feel like you could have taken your power back if you had done, if you had done court cutting meditation or something. It, it's working, this person is feeling the you know absence of your energy in this person's energetic field, okay? With the moon upright energy, there were too many secrets. This person could have kept certain secrets from you, okay? Also, it's all about spiritual work, shadow work, looking through your subconsciousness, okay? With the emperor upright. I feel like for some of you, this person could be married, okay? Uh, if this, or, you know, there could be two scenarios. Either this person could be married right now, okay? Uh, married to you married to somebody else but was supposed to marry you you know by the soul connection something you know like also your connection could have triggered this person have some family healing you know it's all about your subconsciousness your akashic records okay yes this person misses you definitely you know um uh, it feels like for the vast majority of you you live in this person's head rent free okay <laughs> So let's see who's obsessed. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you, some of you could be, uh, you know, uh, into same gender relationship. Gorgeous, okay. This person sees your value. This person, again, I feel like the feminine energy here has taken her power back. You have focused on your, you know, if you are a feminine watching this, you have taken uh, your power back. You have started investing the energy on yourself, on your finances. You look good. You smell good. You are sexy. You, you embrace your feminine energy, your power, you know, like, yeah, look at this. The Eight of Cups in reverse. This person wants you back. Please don't leave me. Please take me back. I want you back. This person is stalking you heavily. This person is having close eyes on you. Look at this. Ace of Swords upright. This person could have had certain mental clarities about you. Also wants to talk to you so badly, okay? I feel like... Uh, also, with the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, you could have been this person's lucky charm. And by taking your power back from this person, this person is not being so fortunate after you moving on from this person, okay? This person has come into this realization. Let's see. Who is obsessed with my group number three universe? Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person wants to break free. Yes, uh, from illusions, maybe. Again, um, let me see. The Ten of 
Okay, if this person uh, is married, this person could be uh, walking away, releasing this marriage with somebody else because this person wants you. Okay, with the judgment energy, it's all about death and rebirth. This person has maybe worked on with the with, worked on through your uh, through their fears this person wants resurrection this person wants another chance with you this person is praying to the divine powers to you know unite you in this lifetime okay i feel like in the past this person was oops yeah this person was feeling this you know, soul spiritual connection with you, but this person did not, uh, let's say, did not uh, admit it to themselves. You know, this person could have been in denial for so long, and this person wants reconciliation. I feel that this person could be scared that you won't take this person back. Okay, yes, like this person is heavy on prayers okay this person is holding on to you so badly so tightly like i won't let you go you are mine you are mine okay so let's see um how does this person see my group number three co-creation you are a hard-working person you invest in, in your connections so beautifully if you are into the you you know you are this ride or die kind of a person you could be a very creative individual you could be a good leader you may have natural born you know leadership qualities to yourself how does this person see my group number three romantic love you are this person's love this person has romantic feelings this person feels like you are a loyal devoted person the moon you are psychic you are intuitive you are mysterious you have ethereal beauty okay or uh, or some of you could be even appear as somebody who is moody or something sometimes okay let's see one more only one how does this person see you the sun and the moon you are yin and yang with the past life connection you are this person's you know you complete this person you shine so bright you have so compassionate heart okay so finally ooh. how does this person truly feel about my group number three how does this person truly feel about my group number three? Honeymoon. This person would love to... You know, you are this, uh, let's say, a uh, fresh of breath air in love for this person, okay? Like, in Turkish, there is a word of ikinci bahar. It means the second spring. What means, like, it's usually being, uh, you know, um, it's usually being told about... You know the people who were married then divorced and found their love after getting divorced okay like yeah this person could be in their mid 30s to you know mid 30 and plus this person could have been married before for some of you okay attraction this person finds you attractive this person finds you i feel like you have very sensual energy to yourself okay calling your soulmate you are this person's soulmate okay this person is praying for reconciliation we have here separation you are yeah this person definitely wants reconciliation with you because this person sees you like some of you have moved away from this person okay we have here love yourself first i feel like uh, yeah look at this give your relationship a chance this person wants another chance from you, okay? This person definitely is gonna come, at least is praying right now for reconciliation. This person doesn't want to be in separation with you anymore, okay? This person could be praying, could be manifesting because you complete this person, okay? Because you have been this person's lucky charm and losing you was losing the world and losing the all the blessings, if it makes sense, okay? So... Yeah, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. See you next time. Take care of yourself.